What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you niggas today. New details has emerged into the murder of Memphis rapper Young Dolph after his killer Straight Drop and Cornelia Smith was arrested. Now we already tied Straight Drop to the crime so that's nothing new. But what's shocking and what's flabbergasted to us is when they announced that Cornelia Smith was in custody for the Young Dolph murder. We all wondered to ourselves. What role did he play in the Young Dolph murder and how did they tie him to the crime? Well, come to find out, they tied him to the crime because he left his fingerprints on the white Benz getaway car. That's right, police was able to connect him from the original carjacking that happened on November 10th and when they found the car on November 20th with his fingerprints on the inside. So y'all guys know what that mean, right? That mean this fool done carjacked the woman, didn't wear gloves, didn't disguise himself, Rode in that car for a whole week, smoking blunts, eating Wendy's in it, shooting dice in it, doing everything miscellaneous in the car without wearing protection. No gloves, and anytime you sit somewhere, your DNA is left in the car. So on November 17th, when they decide to hit up Dolph, that's when they want to come up with hoodies, gloves. But what about the days leading up to the crime? And what about the days? after the crime but anyway guys i want you guys to watch this clip of the news talking about how they connected cornelia smith to the young dog case based on his fingerprints being found in the white mercedes benz y'all ain't gonna believe this watch this clip and cornelia smith has also been indicted for several other charges including first degree murder today his arraignment is related to the stolen white mercedes used during young Dolph's murder now, according to the affidavit smith's fingerprints were found inside the mercedes that was used as a getaway car how stupid is that? You do a hit on a high profile rapper, wear your gloves, you mask up, got the hoodie on, got a good disguise, didn't nobody recognize you, only to have your fingerprints found on the white Benz, the getaway car. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I knew this case was gonna be solved when they found that white Benz at the back of that house. I was like, they didn't burn it. Everybody knows if you wanna get rid of DNA evidence, you gotta set fire to it so when they found that Benz in one piece i'm like it's all type of dna evidence in that car anywhere you sit hair follicle fingerprints because i was like the person who hit up young Dolph doesn't seem too smart i bet they're in that database i bet they already been arrested before i bet they got their fingerprints in the database why do you think police do that why do you think when you get booked for a crime police take your fingerprints it's so they can identify you for future crimes you're going to commit Take a DNA swab, and now you have a digital footprint. You're in the database. So anytime a crime is being committed, a fingerprint is left, they're gonna run it through that database and it's gonna come back to you. So anytime you discard evidence, you have to put fire to it. Now I'm not trying to tell you guys how to get away with murder, how to beat a homicide. I'm just saying, if you're gonna do the deed, you gotta think it all the way through. So that's when I knew these guys was gonna get caught. And then you seen about the third suspect, Shondell Barnett. What the hell are you doing? You mean to tell me that Straight Drop is involved in a high profile murder and you gonna pick them up from Memphis, take them back to Indiana with you, house them, feed them? Do you know you are harboring a fugitive in a high profile case? It ain't just the city police looking for you. He ain't just hit up some little drug kingpin that nobody care about. This is a high profile murder. Reward money is on the line. And you know when they offer that reward money, People gonna tell. Hell, people gonna tell without the reward money. So what you think they gonna do when $15,000 is on the line? I would've told Straight Drop, hey bro, this ain't got nothing to do with me. I love you, but I'm blocking your number. I don't wanna be involved in this case at all. Cause you're gonna get caught. Convince them to turn yourself in, but you don't harbor a fugitive. Ain't no love that strong. I don't care if you my brother. Hey bro, I love you. I know you on the run, man. Good luck. But hey man, I'm changing my number. Don't come, don't show up here. It just is what it is. That's what you gotta do, cause you don't wanna get involved in it, and now you're arrested, and now you're involved in it. Could've been totally innocent. Could've just been minding your own business, and you got that call from Straight Drive. Hey man, can you house me? But you looked on the news, you looked on the internet, you knew everybody was pointing the Straight Drive, it ain't like you didn't know. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I kinda think somebody from Shondell Barnett's side told. I think they snitched, because think about it. Shondell is housing Straight Drive. Shondell is providing food, shelter for him. 
how the hell would they get a tip from somebody saying that he is traveling on the interstate in Indiana? So I believe Shondell was running his mouth. He wanted that clout. Hey, man, I got straight dry with me. Don't tell nobody. But when you tell a broke person that, $15,000 sound good. You mean all I got to do is call the police and tell what I know and I can get $15,000 reward money? I'm going to do it. I've seen people do more for less. That's all I'm saying. And I'm going to be honest with you guys about this as well. I think the reason they didn't burn that vehicle, I think the reason they didn't burn that Mercedes Benz, I think they tried to clean it out. I think they took it to a car wash, sp sprayed it, vacuumed the inside, but they don't know that DNA is deeper than that hair follicle, fingerprints. You just scrub and they gonna get that off. You can get a bottle of also, that ain't gonna work. I've been watching the first 48, I know how this stuff works. So just washing the vehicle is not, you have to put fire to it. So those are my thoughts on this whole situation. This is your boy Cut To The Chase TV, but I wanna know what you guys think about it. Do you think Straight Drop and Cornelius Smith is gonna beat this case? Or do you think the evidence is too overwhelming for them? Or do you think they should just take a plea deal and turn on each other? Let me know in the comment section. I love you guys. Peace.